here has ever been to the beach or for a walk in the park and seen plastic garbage, bottles and bags littering the ground? A few of you. And I think everyone here has both heard of global warming and seen methane, a potent greenhouse gas, being burned off or released at refineries and other industries. What if we could address both of these problems at once? What I'm suggesting is transforming that waste methane into a material both useful and biodegradable. But how can this be done? The answer lies with a specialized class of bacteria known as the methanotrophs. Like their name might suggest, methanotrophs eat methane for their carbon and energy source, meaning they don't rely on sugars or other complex and expensive feedstocks for growth. Importantly, methanotrophs have long been noted for their huge potential in biotechnology, including the biosynthesis of value-added products. The inventory of potential products is vast, but as of yet, largely untapped. In fact, some methanotrophs natively produce a biopolyester known as polyhydroxybutyrate, or PHB. The enticing thing about PHB is that it's a precursor to truly biodegradable bioplastics. So creating an efficient means of PHB production means we might not have to see those bags and bottles washing up on our beaches. But before we jump to production, first we need to refine the process. And that's where I come in, starting with optimization of growth. After all, nothing can be done if the production of biomass is too slow or unreliable. This means looking at the growth conditions in terms of vital nutrients and determining which conditions and combinations are most favorable for any number of strains of interest. Now, once we've found these preferred growth conditions, it might seem like we've done all that we can do. But how do we know that the process is truly optimized? Wouldn't it be better to know what the cells are doing internally as well? This could tell us how to further tweak our growth process or even bring to light other value-added products that we might want to exploit. Luckily, there's ways to do just that. We're using special techniques like transcriptomics to look at what the cells are synthesizing in response to their environment through an evaluation of special molecules in the cell, like taking a microscopic snapshot or fingerprint. This tells us which metabolic pathways are being expressed and which are being um, repressed, and therefore, which growth combinations and strategies are most useful for inducing certain behaviors in the cell like promoting the production of PHB. Essentially, we can use transcriptomics to turn on a light bulb in a dark room, guiding us to our objective. From this, we can craft an optimized process of production of biomaterials that are useful to society, non-harmful to the environment, and profitable for both bio-industries and those industries releasing methane as a byproduct. Thank you.